Today we are going to add login with Google slash Gmail to our website via bubble.io. The first thing that you want to do is go to bubble.io in your web browser. So I'll type that in right now and enter the bubble editor for the particular app that you want to add Google login to. If you don't have an account already, create an account up here in the top right, go to my apps and then just create a new app and you can follow along with this tutorial. So in our case, we're going to use this testing app. So I just clicked on the edit button right here to get into the editor. And um, you won't have all this stuff right here, but we're going to build this. So don't worry. So now that you're in the editor, the next thing you want to do is go to plugins. Click add a plugin in the top right. Now we want to search for Google. So search for Google, scroll down until you see this plugin right here. So it says Google let users log in with their Gmail account and fetch their profile data. It's to be built by bubble. Check that as well. Um, and then we want to click on install, click done. Now we want to go back to the design and we want to add the buttons to the page for signing up, logging in, uh, and logging out as well. So you can create a button, uh, just like, uh, you've done multiple times before, I'm going to assume that you have some knowledge of how to add a button to the page. As you can see, we just did that. So then just label them correctly with sign up, uh, sign up with Google or login with Google. For example, if you want to have some, um, some, an icon in your button, I'll explain really briefly how to do that. That was done by simply adding a group to the page and then changing the color of the group, adding some text and then all, uh, in this group, and finally adding an icon inside of that. And a group can act just like a button where we have this start shut at workflow, um, which you're gonna see really briefly. So, so just build three buttons and label them accordingly, sign up, log in and log out. And click on the sign up button first and click on start shut at workflow. If it's a group, just click on the group and then click on start shut at workflow. Now we want to click here to add an action account sign up for logging with the social network, select Google and do the same thing with login. Sign up for set a workflow and accounts, sign up for logging with the social network, Google. And then for logging out, we just want to click here on our logout button, start set a workflow, click here to add an action account, log the user out. Okay. The next thing we want to do is just display the user's email and first name to ensure that our app has properly saved the information. Uh, and the apps we don't, I mean, yeah, it's just, it's just a checklist. So don't feel like when you're creating your sign up that you have to add this text in order for the app to save the information. The app is going to be saving the information. We just want to display it. I uh, just want to clarify that now. So to do that, click on text and drag a text, drag some text out on the page. Click on, uh, click up here, insert dynamic data, current users, Google's email. You can choose whatever information you want to display. I'm going to use email because it's, it's really easy to, to check if it's the correct email that we've gathered from uh, signing in via the Gmail account and then click here on first name. So we'll also display that information and I'm going to delete these cause I already have them up here. Okay. We're all set within our bubble editor almost we now, but now we're going to hop over to Google's website to, um, set up some information that we need to add to our app to connect Google with our app. So you want to go to developer developers.google.com slash identity. So I'm going to copy this really quick and paste it in a new tab. So paste and go. There you go. Just make sure you've entered that in. You should be on this page here. So sign in with your Google account. If you haven't already created an account on Google and then return to this page and you want to select under Google sign in, select web, ignore all this stuff here. Just click on get started. And we just want to click on configure a project select or create a project plus create a new project. 
name this project whatever you want. I'm going to call this example three uh, and then click on next. This is your product name. Again, you can choose whatever you believe will fit best. This isn't, uh, this is just for your own reference. So I will say example three again, click on next. One moment while it's loading. Okay, so so here you want to select web because that's where we're going to be calling from a web server. And the authorized redirect URL. Let's go back to our app and go to plugins. And we want to click this box. Uh, so select the Google plugin and click this box uh, right here that says use a generic redirect URL. Now this this uh, link right here that's in parentheses, we want to copy this link and paste it into here. So uh, once I'm gonna, I already have it up here. Unfortunately, you can't copy it with your mouse. Uh, however, I recommend you just type it out in another tab or however you want, and then just ensure that it's it's accurate. Um, and it will be, it's all spelled out right there for you. So just that's that's what you want to enter into here. So click on create. And now we have two pieces of information that we need. So I'm going to click here on this little, uh, these two boxes. So this is copying the first piece of information, the client ID. So copied, go back to our bubble editor, make sure we're in plugins and on Google. And we want to enter this client ID where it says app ID slash API key. Uh, click on uh, paste, paste your client ID into here. And then we're going to do the exact same. We're going to enter, type the exact same client ID into uh, that into here in the development version. So they are they are identical. Next, we need the app secret. So go back here, and we have this client secret. So click on these two boxes to copy this as well, and go back to our bubble editor. So uh, right click paste and right click paste. And that's it guys, we're actually done. So now we're gonna test the app and you have a successfully connected Google to your application. So congratulations. So let's test it right now. So click on sign up with Google and choose an account. So for me, I'm just gonna choose this, this email right here. And this will allow our app to associate information, verify your email address. We'll just say, okay, that's, that's fine, allow. And just wait a moment and boom, there we go. So the app is properly saving my Gmail account as well as the name associated with my Gmail account. So I can click on log out and it logs me out. So click on login. And in here again, I can select the account and I've already given the app authorization to log into my account. So as you can see, it's displaying my name and information there again. So great work guys. You are all done. Congratulations. I strongly encourage you to check out our website at newagedevelopment.bubbleapps.io. The link will be down below this video. And create an account on our website. You can access our private forum where we regularly visit to answer questions about bubble development to help you get unstuck if you get stuck and you have a bug in your website, your app, or if you're looking for advice on getting clients as a web developer, we also talk about that. Uh, anything related to bubble development, you'll find in there. And the goal of this website is to turn you into an expert uh, and give you the tools that you need and the skills to be able to build any kind of website or application that you want uh, online and uh, be able to, you can unleash your creativity online. That's our goal. So definitely want to see you there. And I'm looking forward to seeing you